Hi everyone, this is question number four in our river boat problem and welcome to the level up series. So I hope you have solved all the other three questions as well as the theory behind it. Now this question states and it is interesting question that it states that there is a river of width D. So let me just draw the river and there is a width D of the river which is given to you. Okay. Now it says that the boatman steers the boat always aiming towards a point that is directly opposite to the starting point and this is the point we need to visualize so let's say a boat starts at this point initially and this is the opposite end so initially what will happen the boatman is moving in this particular direction uh, because this is the starting point and it states that it is always steering towards the point steering towards a point that is directly opposite to the starting point so if this is the starting point this is the directly opposite point b so after a certain time what will happen river will pull it and it will move to this particular position so again it will point towards this and river is pulling in in this direction so there will be some resultant and so on so it will move uh, point towards this river will pull it and Actually, you see that there is a trajectory which is happening and finally it will merge with this because it is always pointing towards B. So this is how uh, the boat will move. Now, to solve this question, how to approach this? So again, it's very important that what we are learning here is either unique way of solving a problem or a unique way of approaching. How to think about approaching this kind of problem? So I don't know whether you have solved or you have studied a line of approach or not if you have not i will take a series on that so clearly let's say we take this point and uh, we try at some point the man velocity is in this direction so or the boat velocity is in this direction so let's say this is velocity of the boat with respect to the river and this is the river velocity okay and let's say at some point this is making some angle theta with the vertical okay so now you see that this velocity or this line this line is reducing initially this length was some width d and then it reduced this length reduced afterwards this length reduced and this length is constantly reducing and finally it will become equal to zero so clearly we know that this length is decreasing from d to zero so this length or the will this distance will reduce from d to zero so if we actually find out this distance we'll be able to uh, find certain things so the first approach will be that velocity along this particular direction is v b r minus v r sine of theta okay because this is angle theta this is 90 minus theta so v r sine theta and this will be equal to minus of d l by d t okay so this will be equal to minus dl by dt now if i approach it like this so what will happen v b r dt minus v r which is constant sine theta dt and minus is because this length is reducing and it will be equal to minus of dl which will go from d to zero okay so now we don't know theta as a function of time right we can also use r d theta and uh, those concepts but i'm actually sparing that uh, concept at this point of time so we'll just stick to this so this is the first equation which we have got now clearly we know that in x direction so if we find the velocity along the x direction that x is zero so displacement along the x is equal to zero so the second equation which will come to me is VBR, the horizontal component, VBR sine of theta minus VR, right, is equal to minus dx by dt. I can say velocity along the x-axis is this and this will give me VBR sine theta dt minus VR dt is equal to minus dx and this will be from 0 to 0 and therefore from this second equation what i will get is i will get vbr 
इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ साइन थीटा डी टी इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ वी आर डी टी एंड आई विल से लेट से इट इज वी आर इन टू टी सो जीरो टू टी जीरो टू टी एवरीवेयर वील पुट जीरो टू टी बिकॉज इट इज मूविंग फ्रॉम जीरो टू टी सो नाउ वॉट विल हैपन इज आई विल गेट दिस सो क्लियरली यू सी दिस whole expression which i don't know as a function of time theta i don't know as a function of time i can get it from here and what i will do is i will actually get integration of sin theta dt will be equal to vrt by vbr and now it becomes very easy peasy because now we'll have to simply substitute it and from here i will get if i substitute the whole thing sin theta dt i will get vbr into t minus vr into v r t by so let me just use this v r t by v b r in is equal to d okay so from here i will solve it and i will get the answer as t is equal to d into v b r upon v b r whole square minus v r whole square so this is what i will get time as in this particular question so clearly you see the approach was not difficult the only thing is i know I, and i believe in this theory that if you don't know the approach it it means clearly that you have not spent enough time on a problem so so clearly yes i just summarize this i will try to summarize this question that what is happening here is how to visualize and if it is said just try to draw this diagram and once you start drawing this diagram for example what i did was initially it was like this then it moved like this then it moved like this so it clearly was indicating something that this length was decreasing and from there as a teacher i got the idea though okay this length is decreasing so clearly if i am able to visualize this length and uh, find some way of finding an equation along this line then i will be able to solve this question and actually this is how i got the first step right and this is how you need to also think about the first step that this line this length is decreasing with time and this is called line of approach so we will study about this line of approach very soon uh, in our following lectures and just stay tuned to this channel and you will get lot of problems every day one or two problems on physics which will be mind blowing which will actually help you strengthen the concept in a particular area right and as we proceed as the group will increase we'll try to increase this question to two or three or four and we'll create a separate telegram group for this physics lovers right for all all you physics lovers so if you like the solution give me a thumbs up this answer is very simple it is dvbr by vbr whole square minus vr square so and please share it with as many friends as possible if you like the solution and keep just subs subscribe the channel so you can keep coming to this channel again and again okay see you soon with another question